Hi, today we'll see how to develop and deploy Ajax applications for web, cloud and mobile devices. See the development experience in Visual Studio. Create a designed and fully working web or mobile application in minutes. So let's begin. I'm opening my Visual Studio. Visual Web GUI fully supports all Visual Studio editions from Visual Studio 2005 to 2010. Now I'm opening a new project of type Visual Web GUI application. This is basically an ASP.NET project configured for Visual Web GUI. I'm going to open my form in the Forms Designer. This designer is based on the Windows Forms Designer, which is familiar and so easy to use. Let's drag a list view control onto the form and set a few properties in the Properties window. I'll dock the list view to the top and bind to some data. Let's open the Data Binding Wizard and bind to a data table, Customers. Now let's run and see the deployed application in the browser. Here you see our list view control, docked to the top and full of the bound data. Visual Web GUI supports all W3C compliant browsers. Now let's add a layout supporting control, such as a splitter. These controls behave just like their corresponding Windows Forms controls. I'm going to drag the splitter onto the form and I'm going to dock it to the top as well. Now let's run and see the deployed application in the browser. And as you see, I now can resize my list view as I wish. Now let's see how we can customize and extend our application. This is our application in the default theme. Say we want to create a different theme. I'm going to go to my project and add a new Visual Web GUI theme item. This will allow me to customize and extend my application. I'm going to open my theme in Visual Web GUI Theme Designer in order to make my modifications. Here I can control my client resources for each control, such as JavaScript or images. Basically, I can replace any image with no prior programmatical knowledge. Anyone can do it, so you can easily assign this part of the development to your graphic designer. Simply process the images in the tool of your choice and save. I can also define default CSS style attributes for each control. In this case, border color. Now let's run and see the deployed application in the browser. And there you have it. With a bit more graphical work, you can achieve this graphics level quite easily. Thank you.